I do not cheat. Don't ask me. You, you smoke. Stay away from my husband. Go and get your own husband. All right, you're embarrassing me. Do you know who she is? Who is she? She's a nobody. She's just a cheap slut. That's what take my husband from me. But let me tell you. Let me tell you. You flash. You will not succeed. Because I won't let you try it. The next time I see you, close my husband again. I'll break you with that seat. Think you. Please take this. Please push me away. I'm sorry. Please push me away. I want to do this. Good day. Stop embarrassing me everywhere! Honey, can I get a spoon, please? Food. Hmm. Oh yeah, start 
talking. Who is that girl I saw you with today? Who is she? She's, she's just my, my, my colleague. We went for lunch. What, what did you add to my food? What did you poison, poison me? That's the next. Um, eh? If you don't stop, all those are rubbish. You, you will push till tomorrow morning. Hmm? Next time you respect yourself as a married man and stop going after every girl you see. Rubbish. Nonsense. You want to eat. After messing around, I'll come and prepare food for you to eat. Ah, okay. This is pure wickedness. When will this woman stop suspecting me of cheating? She goes about embarrassing any woman she sees around me without considering who they are to me. And now she has added substance that has been making me positive due to my food. I've been poisoned since I came back from work. That you did last night. I couldn't even sleep for one, for one second last night. You slept like a baby. I want me to add honey. <laughs> that is just the beginning. Hmm? If you don't stop fornicating with all these girls, what I will do to you, eh? I've always told you, and I will continue to tell you till it sinks into your head. From the first day I made a vow to you to love you, I've never thought of cheating on you. Talk more of doing it. Hey, pretender! You are a liar! Timothy, I know you very well and what you're capable of doing. I will only tell you to be careful. If not, this your jealousy will lead you to witchcraft very soon. Did you say witchcraft? I'll see you later. <laughs> Very soon I'll turn to that witch. Eh? But I will kill any girl I see you with. Ah! Cheat! Nonsense! Hey! What is wrong with this man? Eh? Why is it that they cannot, they, they, they can't just stay in one place? All they do is go to different hotels with different girls. Timothy, I'll deal with you. <laughs> ah, I just gave you a marriage call, and you are. Don't worry, this time is poison. You poison. yourself. With the way you're going about this, you end up spoiling something for you and your husband. Hmm. Hmm. Tasha, you don't know my husband. You don't know him. That man is a chronic cheat. 
He cheats on me with everything and anything in skirts. Do you know I've caught him on several occasions cheating on me? In a hotel? Eh, not in a hotel. In an open place. But he will always deny they are not doing anything. Can you, can you just hear yourself? Can you listen to yourself talk? So because you saw him talking to a girl in an open place, automatically he's sleeping with the person. This is 21st century. You just have to loosen up. Honestly. So because it is 21st century, I should allow my husband to bring us to the home, right? Hmm. Laura, this same man we are talking about has not brought any tiny weenie disease to you, or has he? Please now, give him a break. Honestly. So this is all you have to say, back. What else do you want me to say? Eh, no problem. You have to be on your way now. Wait, I should be on my way. Are you angry? Angry? No, I'm not angry. We are done with this discussion now. Besides, I want to go and get my in-laws. What? You want to go and get who? Your in-law? Mm, my in-laws. So you want to call a family meeting because of nothing? <laughs> ah, you honestly. call this nothing. But Timothy has to explain to his parents what I have done wrong that, 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 that's making him cheat on me. Laura, I've given up on you, honestly. Please, I just have to go. Your son here cheats on me with every woman he comes across. Fair, dark, tall, short, slim, fat, in fact, high class, low class, everything. Do you know he takes them to the in beautiful places? The other day, I saw him coming up on my beach with the woman. This woman insulted me in his presence. She didn't come in. And he didn't say anything. To me. To me. You heard all she has just said. I love my wife so much. And I can never do anything to hurt her. I cannot disrespect my marriage by going out with another woman. Hey, lies. You're a liar. Mommy, your son has become a chronic liar ever since he started going out with other women. Do you know, telling lies for him is as easy as citing ABC. Love. Now, let him land. Uh -uh. <clears throat> yes, she sees me with some women, but these women are either my colleague or someone I knew before that I just bumped into. And before you know it, Laura would just show up from nowhere and create a scene and even embarrass me. Laura, what makes you think your husband is cheating on you? That they are. I have people that follow him everywhere. Uh -huh. They give me updates anytime they see me with different women. Laura! Uh -huh. Are you short? Or you think I will not find out? They just feed you with nonsense. See, Dad. I'm sorry, but I think this conversation is Because I'm already getting irritated by this woman I call my wife. If you cannot trust me, then so be it. Timmy! Timothy, come back here! I'm not true. Mama, leave him. He knows what he's doing. But his evil will catch up with him very soon. Eh? No sense. See? Like, don't come back here to you. Eh, eh, come back here, you two. Come back here. See? I am tired of coming to this house all the time to settle problems. Eh? Why will all this thing stop? I'm tired, though. Why did you ask him when he was there? Before he left? Why did you ask him? You are asking me. Or have you forgotten that you cheated on me when we got married newly? Have you forgotten? Eh? 
See, let me tell you, you and your son is what? Like father, like son. That's what it is. Rubbish. on your husband now. Please. Eh? Please, my dear, please. This institution called marriage is an institution that has no graduation. So, it requires indeed patience. Very long patience. That, that I've been taking it easy on her. I mean, and that's why she keeps accusing me of cheating on her. Mama, mm -hmm. it's cheating on me. And I won't take it. I can't take these accusations anymore. I don't even know what else to do to please her in this house. Are you really sure you don't know? There's nothing I know I can do anymore. He doesn't do anything to make me happy. All he does is sleep around with different girls. I'm very sure he's cheating on me. Things are not really the way you see them. Listen to me. You see, I cheated on your mother when we newly when we were newly wedded. But she fell, she forgave me. Daddy said what? You had me right. I said I cheated on your mother when we newly were wedded. And she forgave me. So that tells you that there's nothing that you're passing through now that is new. See, let me tell you. I did forgive him. I forgive them. So the difference here is how you manage your crisis. But that I'm not cheating. But the accusation is here. So you have to be patient. With time, she'll get to understand you better. This is past midnight. And my husband that claimed he's not cheating on me is not back home yet. Yeah. If he steps his feet into this house this night, he will either kill me or I will kill him. One of us must die. No. One person must die. God forbid. That will never happen. Tara, calm down now. Eh? You don't know where he is. Instead of you to phone him and let's know if he's safe, you are here telling me this. We don't know what he's doing out there. Call, call him. him. I will not call him. I know where he is. I won't call him. I know where he is. I know what he's doing now. Ah, it's not smooth. You. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Laura, calm down now. Eh? Leave him alone. Calm down. Just leave him. Mama will not leave him. He has to tell you where he's coming from. Where are you coming from? Hey! I said it now. Mama, I said it. The film of another woman is smelling all over his body. Oh! Laura, don't let hypertension kill you about this woman, woman matter. Take it easy, yo. I'm telling you the truth. Just take everything easy. Calm down. Where are you going? We are not going anywhere until you tell me where you are coming from. Laura, I don't have time for a job this I am tired and I need some sleep. Oh, you need some sleep? Why won't you need some sleep? When you've exhausted all your strength on small, small girls. See, let me tell you. Your evil will catch up with you very, very soon. I am tired and I need to sleep. You need to sleep well. Hey! Hey! Mama! Which one is Mama? I am here to calm down. Yes, you are even lucky that I did not push you on the floor. You, you, you end up on the couch. And you are here making mouth. Calm down. 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 Calm
calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Eh? Calm down. Don't worry. Eh? I will talk to him tomorrow when I come to you. He will change. This one that I'm here. He will change. Yeah? Don't worry. Go and sleep. Me too. I want to sleep. <laughs> to make in the office tomorrow morning. Allow me to get some sleep. So you know you have a presentation for to make at the office tomorrow. Yes, you came back by midnight. See. Don't tell me where you're coming from. Okay, yeah, I, I want to drink, but I went alone. Yeah. You went to drink and you went alone. Hi. You can lie. How can you sit in a bar alone drinking? That is a lie. That's what you're You don't believe me, right? I don't. It's better, it's better for you. It's better that you do not even sleep in this room this night. Leave this room for me. Only me, I will sleep here and I'll occupy the whole bed. Only me will sleep and occupy everywhere. Rubbish. Eh? It's getting worse. 
When I asked my son, are you womanizing? My son said no. But the wife is insisting that ah, he goes after other women. That's the problem. One of them definitely might be telling the truth. Yes. But who among them? I don't know. I don't know who to believe. Huh? What kind of thing is this? That is the issue. Hmm. Please, let's go back. Presentation you did in there. Oh really? Yes. I thought I actually didn't do very well. No, 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 well, no, 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 no. Thank did you so you. much. But you came very, very late, and and Mrs. Ibrahim was restless and thought you were going to keep us stranded today. But you know what happened? I, I had to cover up for you, so you came. <sighs> Sonia, really, I don't know how to thank you. You've been so supportive. Thank you so much for covering up for me. Yes, now what's our colleagues for? <sighs> and um, I just want to say sorry for what happened the other day. You know, my wife, she's actually so insecure. She feels I'm cheating on her. But why would she think uh, a gentle man like you would cheat on her? How? Well, some, some, some women does not even know what God blessed them with. I'm also confused myself. I really don't know what else to do to make her believe me. You know what you're going to do? You just have to leave her and um, wait. One day she will just see the, the good man you are. And, and I appreciate you. So I really, really hope yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, can I drop you off? No, 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 no. I'm going to see a friend at the bar down the road. Friend? Your boyfriend? No, no, oh, he's not my boyfriend. Just a friend. He's not my boyfriend. But if you want to come, come join us. You can come. It's a good fun. Let's go. Oh, I hope okay. nobody breaks my head. Nobody's going to break your head. All right, shop. Let's. to this place. Come on now, this place is nice. Are you not feeling the fresh air? Can't you see how airy this place is? I mean, it will just make your skin glow. I'm tired of AC. Every now and then. This place is okay if you ask me. Anyway, I won't deny the fact that I like the air. <laughs> I'm enjoying the air shop. Uh -huh. Madam, be good. How is your husband? That one. Probably he's in the arms of another woman now. Come on now, this is past five. He should be at home waiting for you. Home care. Do you know the time he came home yesterday? Why? What happened? I know. Maybe he was busy getting down on one woman. Honestly, at this point, I just don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I'm tired. He's a like And I will never give him rest until he changes. You know what? Let's wake up and let's stay. But I want to be at home. Let's time him come back home today. Laura, are you now a monitoring spirit? Eh? That's what he has come to do. Papa. Let's drink up. Let's drink up and go there.
For me, because of your insecurity. How are you supposed to face Sonia? Hmm. How are you supposed to face Sonia? If she is your colleague, like you claimed, what are you doing in a bar with her after work? Or is that your office environment too? Laura, things are not always the way they seem. Can't you just understand? Because there is nothing to understand. Listen, let me tell you. If you don't stop cheating on me, you wake up one morning and find yourself in heaven. What? Yes. Are, are you trying to kill me? Let your heart give you the answer. Rubbish. Cheating bastard. Dios. Look! 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 What have I gotten myself into? Do you want? Sonia, please. I want to beg you to just find a place in your heart to forgive my wife about what happened yesterday. Sim, are you not a man? Are you not a man? Didn't you see what happened yesterday? She pounced on me like a mad dog. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Tim, I've seen crazy women. I've seen women protecting their husband. But what I saw yesterday is a woman that needs to be psychologically evaluated. That was what I saw yesterday. Sonia, my wife, my wife is so crazy. Crazy is an understatement here. I will appreciate you stay very far away from me. I don't want problem. I don't want problem. After all, we're nothing but colleagues. If I'm not careful, I might just have an accident. <sighs> Going home after work is such a nightmare for me. Because I don't know what she's going to nag about today. <sighs> Marrying Lara is such a bad idea. Honestly, I wish I could just turn back the hands of time. I think I'll just go and have a drink if I go. Mm. Enough of this drinking every day. I think I'll just go home and 
just ignore everything she talks about today. Anything she nags about today, I'll just ignore it. Yes, I think that's the best analogy. Don't make me feel tired now. What's so funny? <laughs> What's so funny? Wait, wait, wait. So you want to tell me that you picked up your husband's phone and deleted all the contacts he has in there? Like you didn't hear me well. I said all female contacts. Oh wait, though. Your husband is taking a loss from you, babes. If he's my boyfriend, he will just throw a punch at me. If I go close to his phone. Huh? huh. Ah, big difference. Boyfriend. Mine is husband. Honestly, a man's phone is like an onion. You just don't go close to it. The more you go, the more you cry. Babe, let him be. I will not let him be. Do you know my husband knows how to play this game very, very well? Eh? He deletes all the messages and phone calls he receives from these girls. I've searched through his phone. I've not seen anything that suggests he's cheating on me. Then it's obvious he's not cheating on you. It's obvious. Ah, I'll leave that to him. He's smart, though. Okay, how do you explain the other day we saw them coming out from the bar? You see? See, babe, let me tell you. Men are so unpredictable. Shine your eyes before another woman will take your man away from you. Eh? See, I don't even have time for that drama. If my boyfriend wants to cheat on me, he should go ahead and cheat. I don't I, I don't have time for all those drama. I'm on your own. How are you? 
I'm fine, are you? I'm sorry, I hope I didn't keep you long. No, waiting. not at all. Actually, I had wanted to come see you for something very important. What is it? Tasha is about my wife. Please, I need you to help me talk to her. I've done everything I can to make Laura understand that I'm not cheating on her. But she still insists that I'm cheating. Okay, you were there the other day. If not that you were there, she would have killed someone's child just because she saw me and my colleague together. Honestly, even before you mentioned this to me, I already knew about it. And I've tried talking to Laura, but she has refused to see reasoning with me. And I don't know what else to do. She thinks you're cheating on her and it has affected her drastically, honestly. Affected her? Yes. If not that, how else will you explain the drama that she, that, that she did uh, um, the other day? If not because we were there, she would have killed someone's daughter. Yeah? So, Natasha, how do I get my wife back? How do I make her understand that I'm innocent of all these accusations? See, I don't want her to kill someone one day just because of me and end up going to jail for murder case. Don't worry, I, I will talk to her, I promise. I, I will talk to her. Please, please help me. Please help me talk to her. I beg you. No problem, no problem. I, I, I will talk to her, okay? I will talk to her. Just don't bother yourself. She will come please, around. Please help me. I'll talk to her, I promise. I guess I'll have to be on my way now. Thank you so much for coming out. No problem. Alright, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, yeah? Alright, bye. All right, bye. bye. And I said I don't know any noy. Tim. Tim. Tim, how many times did I call you? Oh, wait. Did I start talking? Who is me? Wait, are you talking about Chinoye? Chinoye, Chinoye, whatever. Who is she? Chinoye is my cousin. Your cousin? Your cousin that I've never met. Well, you've not met her because she's good at work. Satisfied? I am not satisfied. Well, you can come home and confirm from her. You are working out on me, Abi. If I find out she is not in any way related to you, you will not expect what I will do to you. It's anywhere near you. Break his head with bottles. Eh? Okay? Yeah. When it comes to fight, I'll fight for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad you're able to smile now. <laughs> Alright then, just go inside and rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Take care. I can't take chances. No. I won't allow what happened to my friend Natasha to happen to me. Just imagine. Her fiancé left her for a, a random girl? No way. It won't happen to me. I will not give Tim a breathing space. I won't allow another woman to come and take over my home. That will not happen. Uh -uh. Why are men like this? Wow. I'll have to hold my man so tight. I will do everything possible to protect him from the prying eyes of these girls out there. Hmm? And, uh, no, I won't give him any breathing space. Hey. I feel for my passion.
Hello. Mommy, good morning. I'm fine. Everything is okay, ma. I hope you are fine. Okay, bye bye. Um, all right, mom, I'll call you later then. What did you tell your mom? Nothing. She just said she wanted to say hi to you. Then why did she call my phone? So I've become a troublemaker now that anytime they call, they want to find out if everything is okay. Of course, that's because anytime we have any slight issue, you always call them. Go do that to bad rubbish. Laura, why are you always angry? As if, why are you always angry at every little thing? What wrong did mom do now by asking me to bring the phone for you so, so she can say hello to you? Or did I even do wrong by bringing the phone to you? Whatever. This thing we are doing is not marriage, it's just a night. It's just a night. Because of one, one, one useless fool that does not even care about you. Hmm? You know men are useless. They are fools. Eh? Please, don't let this thing bother you so much. They know how to do is to cheat. Hey, some people. The day I will catch them red handed, the day I will catch them red handed, I will use razor blade to design that girl's face. I will give her tribal marks. Then I will chop off his mouth and feed it to the girl. If they like, let them pretend that they cannot hear me. I know they can hear me very, very, very well.
Uh -huh. What do you want? I should give the phone to the owner. You must be very stupid. Will you shut up? You are mad. Your generation is mad. In fact, all your whole family members are fools. Oh, yes, you heard me well. Now, with this time, I say, don't you ever, ever, in your miserable life, call this mother again. Do you understand me? Husband snatcher. Idiot. Useless woman. Try me again. And listen, if you call this mother again, I will trace you and I will deal with you. Yes. Useless woman. Idiot. Can you imagine? Eh? Tell me to give the phone to the owner with so much authority. It's not your fault. I blame the useless man I call my husband. Hmm? It's not the thing. Please. You need to be able to see it. She won't call you. Let me see how you can talk to each other again. Make sure you have sex. You have sex. Sorry, too. I tried begging her, but she insisted on firing you. And then secondly, the nonchalant and the way your wife spoke to her on phone yesterday. She insulted her and she could not hold it. It's okay. My wife has succeeded in ruining everything I've ever worked for. And you know Mrs. Ibrahim is a more nonsense person. Hmm? I don't know where you are. I'll beg her to see if she might sit down and, 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 and call you back to the company. What's your name? Anything you can do for me. This job is your only source of livelihood. Please. Okay. I'll, be, I'll try. I'll try. I'll, I'll talk to her. And lastly, don't go straight home. Hmm? Don't go straight home. Just look for where to relax your head. And, and reflect before you go because you might go and do something stupid in the house. I just want to thank you for being so caring. Thanks for your concern. You're welcome. Can go back to it. Okay. Alright, I'll call you on the phone.
Forgotten you are married, and your wife needs you at home. What does she need me for? So she can quarrel and nag and find fault <coughs> in everything I do. But she's still your wife. Are you not the one that brought her to us for our blessings that you want to marry her? So whatever attitude she puts on, you have to condone it. You must, you must be used to it by now. See. Trust is the issue here. Mm. You have to earn her trust. Work hard to earn her trust. Avoiding her or keeping late night, mm. returning by this kind of thing, mm. wouldn't solve any issue. At all. Oh, mm? Dad. Both of you have no idea what I'm going through, so I'll just pretend like I didn't hear any of those things. And just sleep. Where? Here? Yes, here, Mom. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. I hope you've had something to eat. Uh, is it food we're talking about? Is your manner you are sleeping like a houseboy? Please, let's go to the house. Slept on the couch. Really? Yes. Okay. But today is Thursday and he goes to work by 10, 10 o'clock on Thursdays and he's nowhere to be found. And I'm sure he has not gone to work. He may have uh, gone for a jogging or probably to the gym. Hmm. Jogging. Papa. I hope you know what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Which is? <laughs> never mind. Uh, Papa, what will you have for breakfast? Oh, never mind. Then my wife will decide that when she wakes up. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'll be married. Oh, that's right.
Do you know I hardly see my husband these days? He comes home and goes straight to the guest room. He doesn't talk to me or even eat my food. But what could be wrong? I don't know. I'm just confused. He's acting really weird. Have you tried talking to him? Like you've not been listening to me. I don't even see him at all. Sometimes when I'm in the kitchen and he comes back, by the time I rush out to meet him, he will just enter the room and lock himself up. And what happened to knocking at the door? I tried that one. It's not working. Hi. Probably one woman has bewitched my husband against me. Laura. Haba. Must you please uh, associate your husband's behavior to another woman? Probably he's at the point of his life where he wants to be left alone. And honestly, you should respect that. Oh. That's his problem though. But if I catch that woman, if I catch that woman mm -mm. that has... Laura, is it not? There's no woman anyway. I mean, which woman in her right senses will date your husband? Except, of course, she wants you to kill her. I beg, I beg, I beg. Come and see me off. Let me, let me go. Ah, so soon. Eh, I want to go and see uh, my classmates. She just put to bed, so I need to go and visit her. Oh, hey, uh, my regards to them. Yeah. All right, see me. Don't go and start stopping yourself. Eh? Whenever I see you, you have to explain why he's acting like this, because I don't understand this. Did, did I steal it? Where did they sell this book for 200 naira? No, I'm not before then. I'm not selling it. So, to buy Bob Rana, I bought it for this one. Let me say, everybody, we know. Hello? Laura, where are you? I just saw your husband now, and I'm very, very sure it's your husband that I saw. Hey, along that um, free town. Just come to that free town bus stop. No. He's not with any, any woman, no. he's just alone. Just, just come, just come. Come now, now, now. When I mean right now, just come now. Oh, I say you should come now. Stop asking me questions. Just, just, just find yourself here. Place of work. The work that you've stripped me off. Which work? Have, do I have a job? How did they strip you off your work? Don't get me angry. Do not get me angry. Where you could, where you could not control yourself because of your insecurities, I've lost my job. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Take your friend out of here.
Tim, please, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I've always felt so insecure by this marriage because my dad was a chronic cheat. I didn't want what happened to my mother to happen to me. Please, I'm sorry. Laura, Laura, I loved you. That was why I married you in the first place. I've never cheated on you. See, I, I can swear with anything since I, I married you. I have never. I've not even thought about it. But look at me. You've ruined me emotionally, physically, and ev 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 everywhere. Sorry. See, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I may not be able to continue to put up with this. Continue to put up with this. This marriage. This marriage. I'm tired. I want a divorce. I want out. Baby, please don't say that. Please, baby, please. Please don't do this to me. You know, I can't live without you. I love you so much. Please, mommy. Mommy, daddy, please let me talk to him. Please say something. Please. You know you love him so much. You cannot do without him. You went too far, my dear. You almost pushed him to another woman, if you don't know. I'm sorry. So? See, Laura, I love you. But I, I think it's best I let you go. So you don't have to get worked up anytime I'm, I'm out. Thinking whether I'm cheating with another woman or not. Please, I'm sorry. It's 